Yo, what is up everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. So glad you folks are here. We're back again with another special video and today we're going to be reviewing another PA, excuse me, offering. And um, But before we get started, I want to welcome all of you in. If you're new, my name is Silky Creamy and I do uh, very niche review videos. Take a deep dive, look at these products inside and out, and then we learn from the artists and what's um, inside and also what's the inspiration behind these products. Um, and hopefully you'll get a better understanding um, or a little bit more information about this product and um, maybe it can help you in deciding on whether to pick this up or pass. Um, but yeah, that's what I do. Uh, for those of you that are returning, as always, I appreciate you so much. You're simply sexier and better and you know it and I know it and uh, really, 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 really appreciate you folks being here. And so anyway today we are going to be doing the wow signal from paa so let's go ahead and take a look here we'll do the soap first so the wow signal 2020 so obviously you have these huge satellite dishes pointing towards the skies We also have the signal of the ones and the twos going in. We have some sort of code here. Um, we have the stars up there in the galaxy. There's the cube, of course. Looks like it's out in the field. It almost reminds me of, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, X-Files um, all in the cornfields in some nondescript town where you have the shadow government, the U.S. government performing tests. And I love that show so much. In fact, I'm watching it now on um, Amazon Prime, on Prime Video. It's also on Hulu. But anyway, um, yeah, very interesting label. The wow signal. This is in CK6. Let's go ahead and open this up for the first time. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, so we have this like circular motion here, which is pretty cool. We have some pretty nice pores here. Um, nice elevation. It's almost pillowy. It almost looks like uh, those, um, you know, pillars or spires that are carved out over years of rainwater and uh, that you find in those national parks in Arizona and Utah and the Southwest and up in like the Badlands. Very nice pour, quite thick, luscious. Let's go ahead and do our first scent. Oh, okay. I'm picking up a type of musk. There's something else in here, which I don't know what it is. It's a pleasant scent. First off, folks, I like it. The musk is not strong or overpowering. It's a nice, um, it's a complex musk. That's the best way for me to put this right off the bat without looking um, at the website and looking at the ingredients. That's what I pick up from this. Um, so if you're a Musk fan, um, this is definitely something that may be up your, your um, alley. But that's what I get off of this. But let's go ahead and let's read and see what is actually in here and how bad of a reviewer I am. <laughs> All right. Uh, the Wow Signal 2020. So in here, Scent Profile, Osminthus, Tobacco, Labdenum, Bourbon, Agarwood, interesting, that's oud, and benzoin resin, no musk, interesting, but that's what I picked up. Um, this, my friends, is a Phoenix Shaving Classic. Ever since we discontinued the wow signal, the steady writing campaign began from its cult following. This could not be ignored any longer. Something had to be done. That something was Fran and I revisiting this fragrance, I'm sorry, fragrance, which is always nice to do. 
Our original scent was mainly osmethis, a heady, out-of-this-world floral. It was lightly grounded with just a kiss of labdanum and copieba uh, balsam. I loved it back then, but going back and looking at it again, we felt like it just wasn't finished, or rather, not done evolving. So with that in mind, we decided to build up the foundation more, something to tether this space balloon of a scent to really fatten it up. Enter tobacco, oud, bourbon, benzoin, a little more labdanum. Yep, that was what the doctor, that was just what the doctor ordered. Often when you add, you must also take away. And that too is what we did. Copaiba balsam was replaced with oud. It was a tough call, but in the end, I think it was the better rounder choice. Then came the bourbon. Why bourbon, you may ask? Because Pappy is currently stuck in the house and it just made sense. In short, sometimes bourbon just makes sense. Kidding aside, I really love what the bourbon does to the shape of this fragrance, especially in combination with the woody notes. If you enjoy the previous rendition, I believe you will really appreciate the Wow Signal 2020. I truly think you will agree uh, you too will agree this tweak was much needed. If this was, um, if this accord was just a signal before, we've now added some definite substance to it. I also thought I should keep the old write up intact too, for posterity, no? So here we now go back to in Phoenix shaving time. I also left up some, some of the old photos too for your viewing pleasure. I fondly remember taking these in Roswell, New Mexico while visiting the UFO. UFO Museum. I love my job. Enjoy. Transmission begins. The Wow Signal is the second chapter in our as of yet unnamed trilogy. This is one of my favorite scents to date and done with pure plant derived fragrance oils and terrestrial tree resins. There is a compressed mystery of dramatic proportions in the air around this long lasting splash, a true message in a bottle. If our galaxy had a springtime scent, a millennial perennial in bloom, the wow signal would be it. If this space flower was networked through its root system, the scent profile would be in cold. This is no dead transmission running on an endless loop, but alive, an intergalactic number station, twisted in the unruly ripple of time and space, acting with an otherworldly urgency. What we perceive as empty space is held together by mystical bursts of living osmethis, an ever-growing grace note in the cracks that space between the music of the, that space between the music or harmony of the spheres. The grounding points are steadfast, sophisticated in composition, metallic almost, yet soothing. All right. Very interesting. So again, I'm, let me revisit this. I do pick up the floral. It, it just maybe, maybe it's a. Um, for one thing, I don't really pick up wood or oud. Um, so it's really, really, if you know, it's really done at a small amount. Um, so it's not overpowering, right? So I think overall it was done well. I mean, the oud is, now that I hear oud and think oud and I'm looking for oud, I can barely pick it up because I'm looking for it now. To me, it, it smelled like a complex musk and maybe it's because of the combination of, of the um, scent notes kind of gave it a musky type of scent, um, but it wasn't a true musk, right? Um, but yeah. Um, but overall, um, I think the floral part is what I missed, but I thought this is, um, this is a, you know, this is a nice scent. Um, it's kind of, I would say, yeah, it's, it's hard to classify this. What should I, would I consider this a woody scent? Not really. I would say it's more of a musky scent with some florals. Um, but it's so... What's the word I'm looking for? Not amorphous, but you know what I mean? It's so unique in the sense that I think different people will pick up different scents. Um, and um, you may come up with a completely different um, perception of what this smells like, um, if that makes any sense. This is the aftershave. So we have labdanum hydrosol, 
honeysuckle extract. Okay, so this may be a little bit more on the floral side, if I have to guess. Let's go ahead and take a smell. And there's no orifice reducer. Chap, uh, <laughs> uh, chalk one up for the uh, for the people like me who love no orifice reducers. Yeah, this would be for me. Um, this is a little bit more of the floral, but I do pick up a little bit more of that resin. Um, it almost has like a, it's not woody, but it has a resinous um, scent to it. So. Yeah, I mean, I think in combination with the two, um, with this coming out, this is kind of a more, I would say, more towards your woody, resinous type scent with some florals added. So again, that's going to be really what's going to be left after you use it. So, um, but yeah, this is the wow signal. Um, always interesting to do PA scents. As always, I appreciate you for being here. Hope you guys learned a little bit more about the scent. If you have any more um uh, information to add to this please put it in the comments we always read the comments um, this community is very diverse it is also very seasoned um, and a lot of people who watch these videos um, share the same um, um, I guess desire as I do and that is to document the product and to give as much information as possible about this product and it's really to celebrate the product and to really talk about each um, product and so if you have a little bit more to add or if you know what the what part of the trilogy this was added you know add that in add some color to the to the comments and um, it's greatly appreciated and um, yeah really really um, enjoy doing this and so as always take care of one another out there and have a great great August be safe out there be cool and um, we'll see you in the next video peace